Man's men's basketball team has had a rough period of preparations for the Afro basketball tournament in Rwanda. Lack of resources and facilities back in Juba has impacted the team's preparations for the tournament, but they are hoping to rise above the challenges in Kigali. CGTN's Patrick Oyet reports. South Sudan's Basketball Federation says it is taking a team in Rwanda with the hope of taking on the best teams in the continent. I think we are still improving. Um, I, I still think that we can be a lot better as a federation. I think there's a lot that we want to do. Um, we're coming in not to just lay down and just think of the national team. It is easy to plans to have a league in South Sudan to support the growth of the sport. There are, however, challenges that the team needs to overcome. The South Sudan's Basketball Federation says it needs financial support to put in place structures that will see the country dominate in Africa and the world stage. South Sudan's government says it is aware of the importance of sport in the country, but that it currently does not have much money to invest in sport. The easiest way to unite people of South Sudan is by encouraging sport and peace activities. Because when you win any game in the name of the people of South Sudan, it gives all of us a pride. South Sudan's Basketball Federation says it is working to develop the game across the country and build several players that will be joining the national team. For South Sudan, seeing our women team eventually, for everybody to realize what our women are capable of, I think is going to be a bigger impact for the country. The Federation says the team will play to spread hope, peace and pride through the game of basketball. Patrick Oyet, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.